publication of structural engineering books and articles in engineering magazines is a result of my experience over 30 years with a firm of architects and engineers in Delhi, Kothari and Associates. The object of these books is to fulfill the need for practical books in the field and sharing my experience. The books were published from 1998 to 2009 after peer review by the Indian Concrete Journal for each book. Stat input listing is given for every illustrative example given in the book. The topics in the book are the many of these are the existing buildings constructed on the basis of uh, these designs. My first ebook is Advanced Structural Design CAD Examples, which was published in 2001. And it presents structural design examples of some of the uncommon structures. These are four segment cement silo, 10,000 ton total capacity, 31.7 meter diameter suspended floor on structural steel frame for an assembly hall, 200 megawatt turbo generator foundation, space frame roof over an atrium of an office lobby and 223 meter tall television tower. The second book was uh, High Rise Buildings Design Example of a 110 story building. CS Tower at Chicago is taken as an illustration. In order to meet the requirements of urban planning, the present trend in India is to go vertical and to construct ultra high rise buildings. A 60 story building is already in existence in Mumbai. This is a professional book to fulfill need in the design of such high rise buildings. The topics in the book cover design considerations and principles, loads, structural systems, fire hazards in tall buildings. The third ebook is the Advanced Structural Design 2, which was published in 2009. The topics covered are stability of shells, reinforced concrete spherical dome, reinforced concrete diaphragm walls, pile foundation of ring silo, pyramid hopper, and forensic engineering. Since publishing these books, there has been encouraging response from structural consultants, academicians and students. I am advancing in age and I am keen that the access to these books may continue for the posterity. I realize that books have a life, but design topics considered in these books will remain relevant in India for still quite some time. I therefore requested Sri Bhavin Shao SQVE Consultant Samdabad to put these books on their portal. He kindly agreed to do so. 
I have transferred to SQA consultants copyright and to sell the books. Now a word to structural engineers. Planning of structural engineering is not an independent service. It has to coordinate with the requirements of the architects and plumbing, mechanical and electrical consultants and other services which go in the project. Structural engineers should therefore know and appreciate these requirements of other disciplines and develop a structural scheme to suit these requirements and have a coordinated planning. And lastly, due to social and industrial advancement and the use of high stress materials, the structures have become large and more complex. Structural engineers should therefore remain updated by reading engineering magazines, attend seminars and join refresher courses from time to time. A structural engineer who does not change with time stagnates. It is not enough for structural engineer to design structure only from given loads and code requirements. A client entrusts the project to a consultant, assuming that they are experts in the field. In, in case of malfunction, therefore, structural engineer cannot take shelter under any excuse and should remain morally responsible. Thank you.